Happy Friday! Yay! Welcome back to Drinking By My Shelf. I've got my family with me. We're here! Woo. And here is, in fact, Tuscany. We're on holiday in Tuscany and we're here to tell you everything that we have read throughout this week that we've been here. Haven't we chatted? And surprisingly... Yeah, you've lost. I've lost. I've read the least. Yeah. I brought with me five books for this holiday. And technically, I've read less than one, but well, I did. You finished one I did you, read yeah, one yeah. before the plane took off. Sophie's going to start because she actually read the same book that I read before the plane took off. This uh -huh. one, yes, yes, and that is. I've been reading Carrie Soto is back. It's the new Taylor Jenkins read, and I have loved it so much. <laughs> Why is she so sad? Because <laughs> I said much. I loved, loved it so, it so much. much. It's basically <laughs> <laughs> she wants to start with someone else. <laughs> well, I start it and then you can chip in. <laughs> okay, I'll just sit here and drink my wine. <laughs> this book is has been described as what was it? Basically, Daisy Jones, Daisy Jones and the Six. Wimbledon, the movie. The premise of this book is about a tennis player. She's a taking all of my life. Go on, Bob. You were having a really hard time. You were having a difficult time. Okay, so basically, yeah. it's. It's the Taylor Jenkins Reid style. And I'm looking a bit sulky because I was promised this book yeah, after yeah, you'd you'll finished love it. it. My you'll wife love it. it. You'll yeah. love it. You are going to love it. Basically, it's the fictional celebrity thing, but it's a tennis star. Yeah. So she, it's sort of like, it kind of starts in the 70s-ish when she's a child. Am I with that up? Is it in the, whenever it is. And then it goes, and then basically it's 90s is when she's a grown up and has Aren't her. Aren't you bad at explaining books? <laughs> Just cut to the point! I don't know, it's about tennis! Who is Carrie Soto? I got her about to talk. <laughs> Carrie Soto is a tennis player who basically was the best tennis player of all time ever. And but but she's also she's like she's quite she's not particularly liked or she yeah. isn't at all liked because she's, she's not no, she doesn't do the, the back smiley. Yeah. Um and basically she has the the record for the most slams Grand slam of singles all time. titles. And then Another girl beats her record, and Carrie is like, it all not on my watch. That one Thank draws you. with it. Yeah. But what's key is that that happens after Carrie has retired. So Carrie had this yeah, phenomenal yeah, yeah. tennis career, broke all these records, retired at the age of 32 or something. Now, where the book starts up, it's five years after she retired, and a new tennis player has just beat her record. Yes. So she's like, or not on my watch. Or, or. Oh, sorry, <laughs> has just tied her record. Thank you. And so she says, I'm coming out of retirement. Yes. Hence, Carrie and Soto is, is back. You know, other stuff happens too. Other yeah. stuff happens. Yeah. I will say, it was surprisingly about tennis, and I surprisingly loved that. I mean, let me try. Yeah, but I knew, it was, about, I knew it was going to be about tennis, but I thought it would be tennis would be the backdrop to all of this kind of like romantic drama and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, and it's not it's and like it's, just There's a bit of tennis. that, but it's basically ten like it's just tennis match after tennis match and tennis match, which I would have thought I wouldn't be interested in, and I was hooked. I've never watched a tennis match in my entire life without falling asleep, and yet this was like... Yeah. I was reading it, it also, like I was in watching the way it, that it was Wimbledon the movie makes me want to be a famous tennis player and go and win Wimbledon. This book made me, made me like, want to go and play tennis for fun. But it made me actively not want to go anywhere near being like a professional tennis player. Yeah, because obviously otherwise I would do yeah. that. So I loved it. Safety uh, loved it. But yeah, it. it's like so, it's a, it's a lot about like the mental side of yeah. how hard it is, and it's also a lot about tactic. Like more, mm -hmm. of, it's it's about it's not just like if you're really good at tennis, you can go and win Wimbledon. It's about the tactics of of. I want to read yeah. it so that I yeah, get you're gonna love it. Well, you're gonna you love it. You probably will. It. Yeah, it's so tense. Do we think that it's fun having the camera on a jaunty angle, or should I fix it? I, I we're used to it now. We're happy with the jaunty angle. Well, I don't know. Ask them what do they think. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna leave it. <laughs> so that was Carrie. So that was Carrie. Back. back, and I absolutely loved it. Yeah. yeah. Our mother is currently reading it. Our father is next to read it. Winter. Our cousin already read it on this holiday, and yeah. our cousin's best friend is reading it. Bizarrely had yeah. a copy of it. Yeah, because they've got their friends with an influencer. Uh, so there were two yeah. proofs two going proof. around this holiday. Proof. So, great review. Thank you great so much, review. Sophie. You're you can all... now have a little Welcome. breather. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, okay? <laughs> she did, she did fine. What, you, tell you. us your first book that you read. You, well, weirdly, winner. Mr. Slow Reader, has I read like know. 100 mm. books. Yeah. I will begin with my mm. first book, mm. which I read because my wife said, one of these days you ought to read this book. And it's called Village School, and it's by Miss Reed. Which is the cutest yeah. thing. Oh, I mean, the author is called Miss Reed. It up. It's the most old-fashioned book I've ever read. It's when was a, it written? 
Ah, 1955. First published 1955, and it's about a village school. You wouldn't have thought that was much of a read. Yeah. <laughs> did you know what I do with that? Yeah, very good, very good. You mean to do that? No, I just did that. <laughs> so is it true stories written by it, Miss Yeah, Reed? so she was a school, a village school teacher in the 1950s, and she wrote quaint little stories about her life in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. And the only reason we talk about this is because I rather wish I lived in the 1950s. Okay. If I can't live in the 1830s yeah. and ride a horse, yeah. I'd quite like to live in the 1950s. Yeah. And village schools were so wonderfully old-fashioned. And all the little children were excited about the weirdest little things, like the harvest coming in. Mm. And at Harvest Festival, they get excited because they go and decorate the church. We used to do that then. We yeah. had them in the 1950s. I yeah. know. But they also get excited when the farmer comes in to tell Miss Reed that, you know, the donkeys got into the sort of playing field and the big old farmer comes in and knocks over the blackboard and the children <laughs> just think it's heaven. <laughs> and they just wait there for the next time he comes in in case he knocks over <laughs> the blackboard again. So um, if you want to go back in time to the 1950s, uh, that is a cracking book. Village and it's got a sequel called Village Life. <laughs> <laughs> Village Idiot or something like that. Oh, and just By one, Mr. before Reed. we leave, before we leave, look at the pictures. It's oh, got little oh, wait, pictures. Well, that poor little boy. I mean, the 1950s weren't everything they were cooked up to be because this little chap, he's only he's about five and he's going to get whacked on the hand. But look, they go skating. That's sweet. I mean, only when it's snowing, mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Life in the 1950s by Miss Reed. I highly recommend it to anyone who is interested in such things. <laughs> but sweet. I will move on. Now it's my turn. I see. Mm. This, though, is Still Life by Sarah Woman. I'm very nearly finished with it. This is a delightful book and a delightful book to read here in Tuscany because it's. Ah! Oh, there it goes. <laughs> that is so. Oh, wait, no, it's still coming. <laughs> That's so peculiar, it's going everywhere. <laughs> oh look, it's on village school by Miss Reed. <laughs> and, oh, it's oh, on man. so much of my trousers. Oh. Oh. Well, not on so much, but certainly on some. Yeah, full of that one. Yeah. <laughs> and we were told not don't to bring glasses down, down, down by, by the, the pool. pool. Because if you break them, yeah. they don't unbreak. <laughs> <laughs> right, can I go back to having some attention, please? Yeah. Well, so also, but where am I meant to sit now? I know, the uh, continuity artist see. is going to see. say, hang on, they've moved. Yeah, move further forward and actually you'll still be fine. What about me? I'm further backwards. Well, you're... Look, I'm... What, you're the I'm guys, hang on, who am I? Here's, oh. a, here's a little game for you. Okay. Who am I? Who am I? I'm wet leg! <laughs> <laughs> now, wet leg on the Isle of Wight are a very famous band and they are going to be a big thing. Yeah, I've actually never ever heard of them, but then you told me about them and I then know, there was a... because um, I'm cutting edge. A poster yeah. All over on, London yeah. town. Right, anyway, Still Life is set in Tuscany, which is where we are right now. The A lot of it is set in Florence, which is where I'm about to go this weekend and actually stay in... <laughs> Honestly, uh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but she was showing concern for whether I would end up sitting in a pub. Okay, okay. I don't think I did, but well, you, you were right did, to but, be concerned. Yeah. Shall I continue? <laughs> I would. So it's set in Florence, which is where I'm about to go, yeah. and I'm actually about to go and stay in the exact square where it's set, Piazza Santa Spirito, inspired by this book. So it's a very exciting one to be reading. Santa Spirito. <laughs> <laughs> It's called Santa Spirito. Okay. What would you say? No, Spiritual? Just, <laughs> we've, we've been working on our C's and our G's, but I, I grant you there weren't our... <laughs> no C's, no G's, no cheese. No cheese. No. No <laughs> I've been trying to teach them how C's and G's work in Italian And in English. And in English. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we do the thing? Do no, the thing. I... <laughs> No, I just want to do it. We've yeah. got like 10 minutes till 7. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. The sun is setting. It's going to be dark. So mm -hmm. I'm going to Santa Spirito in Florence, inspired by this book. Essentially, this book is about a really fun group of characters. A young soldier called Ulysses, great name, meets mm -hmm. a woman in her 60s or 50s at that point called Evelyn Skinner, who is a, an art expert. And they meet on this night in Tuscany during the war. We then follow Ulysses 
through the decades and now and then we check on Evelyn to see what she's up to and their paths almost cross so many times. He's got this incredible group of friends in London including his ex-wife, a parrot who can talk and speaks, quotes Shakespeare all the time. Sounds like a Bob Dylan song. It's absolutely amazing yeah. and due to events that I won't spoil for you, a group of these end up moving to Florence and it's just delightful and whimsical and mad and I don't know what's going to happen at the end but it has been a wild ride. That was still life. Also, I, me <laughs> I messaged the author and she said, cool. <laughs> okay, so I am now reading this book. <laughs> I love that book. Which is called... Tell me. What's it called? <laughs> Oh, Great Circle by Great Maggie Circle. Shipstead. Great Circle by yeah. Maggie Shipstead. Maggie Shipstead. Yeah. Anyway, so far it's really good. Yeah, I've already yeah. read it. It was one of my five star reads this year. Yeah. So I'm not very... I, actually, no, I'm about 25% of the way through. Okay. I'm really scared of flying and I was slightly concerned because mm. the first two pages are all about plane crashes. Mm -hmm. But in the... It, yeah, the rest yeah. of it, no plane crashes in sight apart from a few. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And what's the book about? Flying. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is like in English when you get asked stuff. No, I don't. I don't need the themes. Just what's yeah. the what? What would be written it's on the about, back of the book? It's about. Oh. <laughs> oh God. No, it's about. So basically, it's about this girl who wants to be a a girl in the nineteen O's ish. <laughs> Is that like that? The rest of us say the 1900s. Yes, them. <laughs> I can't do <laughs> Just look over there. Look at, look at that lamppost. Okay. Look at it. Look at okay. it. Who would like to be a pilot, and so far she's trying to be a pilot, but it's kind of mirrored by a sort of self described B list celebrity who I think plays her in a movie. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, basically it's about fl uh, fly. <laughs> fly. In a circle? <laughs> Right. Yeah, so the Great Circle is the equator, uh -huh. and she's gonna. I think she's you gonna fly around the world. You haven't yet told us she's gonna fly us around. Well, I don't know that for sure. Oh. I think I only know that because yeah. you told me. Yeah, it, well, it says it on the, on page one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the little squeak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's not the equator. <laughs> Well, she's well, fly the equator the world. is the equator is a great circle. I think it's any loop around the world, oh. but she's going to do more of it. The equator is the great circle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so far I'm really enjoying it. Good. Yeah. It's really good. It's, it's really, really, really good. good. Yeah. Back to you. Back to me, my friends. Now, let me tell you about this little baby. We're on this <laughs> holiday out here in Italy, and we were told, wouldn't it be nice if we had all read one book in common? And someone picked Where the Cruel Dads Sing. Now, I had read that book some... Many years ago. Some many years ago. Yeah. Well, not... I mean, three years ago, would yeah. you say? Okay. Uh -huh. And I thought, well, I, I'm going to read it again. Now, the reason this is interesting for my friends and family... <laughs> In case anyone's bored yet. Is that I've never <laughs> read a modern novel more than once. Yeah. Never and somebody ever. picked up on this fact. It might be new. Yeah. Um, was it not maybe, maybe What about the castle of adventure? Ah, oh, no, that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, modern novel. And so I read uh, Where the Cruel Dad Sing again. But here's the point. I read it on one of these bizarre little devices, yeah. which you had to help me with. He borrowed my Kindle. Oh, did I make a doggy. fuss? Good heavens, what a fuss I made yeah. about how you turn it on, how you turn it off, which way up you read it, blah de blah I managed to crack that whole thing. And um, <laughs> It's a great book. I it hope. is a great book. Did you when like it as get, much the second time? Well, I think I liked it more the second time. Cracking book. I yeah. highly recommend it. I'm not sure I highly recommend Kindles. What I don't like about Kindles, I shall put Let's it on it. record, mm -hmm. is um, you don't have the sense of, I think I called it geography. You don't have the geography mm, of the book. Of where you are in the I book. like to know I'm yeah. here. Mm. And also, when you slightly forget what happened earlier, you you flick back to where you spilt coffee. You remember that bit. Mm. But on a Kindle, you have oh, to search chaos. the name. Which is also yeah, I handy. do get, and that is a downside. Yeah. But if you're reading in bed, the other day I was reading a book that was a physical book. Confusingly, it was not Carrie Soto, which is also a physical book. This was another physical book that I was reading. I can't remember what it was. 
It may not matter. Let's not even try to imagine. (laughs) It may not matter. But I was lying on my side reading it, and my bedside light was there. And I could only read half, 50% of the book, because the this side was, was in, in shadow. The shade, yeah. Yeah. So I could read every other page. Makes it much quicker to read. I didn't know what I'm saying. I was going on. <laughs> People kept being dead, and I was like, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas on a Kindle, it's very yeah. easy. You yeah. can just, you yeah. only need one hand, yeah. and it's always in light. Yeah. yeah. Um, and now, uh, in a twist of events, it's your turn again, because we haven't read anything else. I know. And... I'm back on a physical book, thank goodness, and I'm reading this fellow. I have been reading Sebastian Pokes for a very long time, because I'm very old. Mm. You see my hair? (laughs) Um, And this little baby is called Snow Country, and it's one of these ones where, you know, you've got, in 1914, this is happening, in 1927, this is happening, and in 1933, this is happening. So it's a little bit like you were nattering about this, where Mm -hmm. people keep weaving in and out. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm early doors, and I can tell you I'm early doors, because I've got the geography of my book. Uh, But it's at the moment, we've got this dude called Anton, uh, who uh, wants to be a journalist. His father wanted him to run a sausage factory, (laughs) you know, a bit of a difference. Mm -hmm. Um, But he's going to be a journalist. And he's living in Vienna with a... Um, a more experienced lady, shall we say. Is uh-huh. that a polite way of putting yeah. it? Yeah. She's more experienced. Okay. And um, he's having a cracking time. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, but I think this is going to be a great book. And I so far would recommend it. I, I would offer praise for Sebastian Fultz. Most poignant love story yet, as Anthony Beaver once said. Or the most impressive novelist of his generation, as the Sunday Telegraph <laughs> once said. And... <laughs> Folks captures the voice of a, can- of, a of, of a canary. Folks captures the voice of a canary. A as century. A, it's a century. And a century, as the Sunday <laughs> Times once said. Very good. So great book and yeah. nice cover by the way. Nice it's got cover, some yeah. funny textures going. Oh, you see? Ooh, you yeah. wonder if that's going to peel off, but no, ooh, it isn't. Yeah. Okay. Um, so with that, the sun has set. Yeah. I've been bitten at least three times. I have. Yeah. And we're going to go. At least no wasps this time. No, no wasps. wasps this time. Ah, uh, yes. If you are long time viewers, first time callers of this channel, <laughs> yes. you will remember that about five years ago. We Longer went... than that, I think. Well. Yeah. Maybe exactly five years ago. <laughs> I would say actually probably more likely three years ago. No. Yeah. At some point, Maybe we went exactly to make. We went to make <laughs> and the three of us told you what we'd read. Yes. And I will link to that video below. And there were a shit ton of wasps. And there were a shit ton of wasps. There yes. were. I wonder what had I read that. Can you well, remember? I've probably read more than this. You I wonder have... if one of us had just read Crawdads. No, that you be... just read Children of Jocasta. Uh, oh, you yeah. You were talking about that. What was I talking about? I can't remember. Do you know? Well, we'll click through and find out. Yeah. yeah. But for now... We're going to go eat some fishy. We're going to go and eat some fishy. And some... Uh, oh, Should we uh, show off melon, our skills? Melanzana yeah. Parmigiana. Aha. Uh-huh. Now then. Parmigiana. <laughs> Do you like what she did with that? Yeah, I love what she did oh, with yeah, that. Yeah. 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 I've already edited all of this out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Bye. <laughs> very good. Thank you, Thank Greg. You very everyone. good. Thank you all.